Hey, coaches, we got a fantastic guest today. Coach Lance Marquez is the offensive coordinator at Lincoln High School in New Jersey, Jersey City, New Jersey. That's uh, for us Southern guys, that's a big deal. Like we've heard of that <laughs> on TV before. Uh, coaches, Air Raid certified under the Godfather How Mummy. And uh, he is uh, generously offered to uh, teach us uh, the shallow sting, which is something that uh, Lincoln Riley uh, ran at, at Oklahoma and coaches uh, is studied up on it and gonna, gonna uh, brutalize some people with it this year. So coach, I appreciate you being here, man. And, uh, and teach us like we are your freshman quarterback. Got it, coach. Listen, I appreciate you and, and the whole air raid community. You guys have been uh, more than uh, welcoming open arms, you know, as far as teaching. That's one thing I love about the air raid community. Um, but I wanted to go over one of the things that I was talking to you about was um, anytime I come up with a, a play or something, I want to make sure I can do whatever I can to protect that play, especially if my team is good at it. Uh, one of the things being GT and, and, and one of the things in the passing game was if we're really good at a wide cross, uh, what can I do to protect wide cross other than just run shallow? Um, and one of the things I, I fell upon was Lincoln Riley and his uh, shallow sting concept. Uh, which I wanted to show with you today. So I'm just going to share my screen here after you uh, so graciously showed me how to do this here. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, okay. Can you see me, Coach? Can you see the screen? We got it. Okay. All right. So um, I don't have any uh, clips of us doing it just yet. We don't. We don't actually go out and ball till the next week. Um, so let's see here. Let me speed this up. Here we go. Uh, no, nope, that's not it. All right, so here we go. Um, now they ran. They pretty much they ran this out of a. What I like about uh, Lincoln Riley is that he run pretty much runs the same play out of different formations, which is pretty much what we do in the air raid. Um, and it pretty much keeps it simple. So. If you notice what he does here, he has a heavy set. He has a tight end, and this is a sniffer here. And what they do is they actually have a post, um, and then it looks like you have a Y cross coming across, but then underneath with that, they have a, a, a running back running to the flat. And what you notice is it makes this – puts this flat defender in a bind here. And I'll play the clip here. Once you see him come across – see, now this guy right here, this flat defender, I don't know if you can see my arrow here, Coach. This flat defender is in the bind as to what to do here. So he we doesn't can, know. We can see your arrow. I mean, we okay. can see your, uh, yeah, we can see it. Okay, good. So now what it does is it's very, because this corner, because this post took this corner completely out of the picture, this is wide open. To me, I mean, this is something that's, uh, you know, I coached, took something from Coach Colthorp was cost benefit analysis. You know, this is something simple that we could pretty much put in um, and, and doesn't really cost anything, you know. Uh, and I'll show you a different formation that they ran it out of also as, as well. Here's another one. Uh, let's see here. Give me one second. Let me find it for you. All right, here we go. Uh, again, pretty much. Similar concept. Um, what they do is they have uh, two a vertical in the post. Uh, they have your flat player right here. And again, what are you doing? Is you're putting this defender in the bind. Is, is he going to go with the vertical? Is he going to sit with the with the hitch right here? So uh, pretty much these two safeties are taken up by the two verticals. And you have the cross coming coming out coming on the other side. See, this was a little tighter window. This was a little tighter job by, done by the quarterback. So he hit him right here in stride. But you can see all this grass right here that's wide open because of the two verticals and the flat defender. This flat defender, for some reason, on the shoot route, causes him to expand and him to actually bite on it. So it leaves all this grass wide open. Um, again, shallow thing for me is I think something that's cost-benefit. It's really simple to put in. It, it's a, it, I think it protects shallow really well. Um and I think it's something that's that's definitely definitely worth a, a, a big place down the road. Let me see here. I got another one for you here.
Now here they go. They dress it up with some type of motion. I like kind of like you, coach. I'm not a big motion guy. I just think it kind of um, puts a little too much thinking into the play for our kids. Um, but again, if you that's something you want to do, by all means, do that. What they do here is they dress it up with an orbit motion here, but you have the same, pretty much same concept. So let me rewind it real quick. All right, what you're going to get is that cross post, and you're going to get this guy hitting this gap right here, putting him, and either he's going to, what is he going to do with orbit? Is he, he going to collapse? Is he going to come down and play the play the vertical? Is he going to uh, play the flat when the back comes out? It puts both of these defenders in the bind here. Two verticals, and he, he walks it in like a shallow, and then he stings vertically. Let me rewind that real quick because I want you guys to see that. What he does, he makes it look like shallow. This back, this this receiver over here on this side, this number one receiver, um, I believe that would be the uh, the X here. Watch how he starts it off like a shallow. And then what he does, he spikes right behind the linebacker. He stings right behind the linebacker in that open gap. And this uh, something about a shoot route always forces this defender to bite hard forward and look at all this grass right behind him, right? So you're pretty much running – uh why uh why cross uh to one side but sting in the other opposite side and you have this whole grass wide open on the other side to me this is something simple that you could just tag and just make sure you have that flat defender that running back or you have to have a flat uh player to draw that uh that apex defender out let's see we can see on this side There he goes. I love how he spikes right behind a linebacker out of sight and just goes to that void in grass. It's wide open. To me, I this is a play that I think is open against any coverage. Um, unless you're going to drop eight. And drop eight, we have answers. We're pretty much running the ball if you're going to drop eight. But uh, to me, this this is a great play against any, any kind of coverage. And what I love is that they run it out of uh, several different plays. I'm going to show you another uh, game. Uh, where they ran it out of a different formation here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I love it, Coach. Yeah, here we go, Texas. That's got, that's got big play written all over it. Absolutely, absolutely. Oklahoma, Texas right here. This is probably the most beautiful one. And what I love about it, again, is that they run it out of multiple formations. It's not just one formation. So this is something that we do in the air raid already. This is in our DNA. Uh, so this is not something that's a, a lot of work to put in because to be quite honest with you, if there was a lot of work to me, I'm not putting it in because I, I, we don't need the, we don't need the headaches, but here's, uh, matter of fact, our kids don't need the headaches. Here's probably one that to me symbolizes the play the best right here. Here they're in two by two. So now, so let's think about this for a second. So now. The first formation I gave you was a was a, was a heavy formation where they had the, the uh, tight end and sniffer. Uh, the next formation was pretty much ace flop, and, and I think early was one of them. And then they said the, uh, the back the uh, receiver in motion. Now this one is a basic two by two. So now we gave you the same play out of maybe three or four different looks. Right. So here he goes. We're gonna get Y cross. We're gonna get Y cross here. Well, in this case, it'll be H cross, and then you're gonna get this Y coming across the field on that sting route. So you're gonna use, this guy's going to be your sting guy. This is going to be your cross. This is going to be your, your goal, your post. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it must be an option route. He saw this safety uh, fly off, so I'm assuming that's why he converted it to a post. And then you got your flat route, which is, uh, again, I'm sorry, your shoot route, which, again, is, is for some reason is, is just like eye candy to defenders. They have to jump the shoot route. Well, simple option route. Wide open. I'm running it back for you one more time. Now, I, I, I apologize. I forgot this one. This one he actually inserts in the line to line of scrimmage. I'm really more, more of like a shoot guy. Um, I just think he gets out there faster. I don't want him to get caught up in the garbage and the trash just in case. Uh, and then it kind of messes up the whole concept. Um, I'm pretty big on him shooting out and then going to the flat but again coach this is to me this is um cost benefit analysis it's easy play to install all he's doing is stinging across wide open every time because you're taking those two with you automatically to me this is this is this is 
this is money against any kind of coverage. Again, unless you're going to drop eight. Your high low in that apex defender. What is he going to do? And then if he if he decides to go with the sting, you drop it off to your back, which is probably your second or, or first best athlete on in the in the uh, on the team, and let him do what he does. Yeah, no, you can't go wrong on that. But um, but yeah, coach. Um, to me, uh, a cost benefit analysis to me that's even something easy to install. Um, I'm pretty much on the fence whether to go two post or wide cross. I might keep it wide cross because we already have wide cross in. It's a lot easier for the kids to understand rather than inventing a whole new route. Um, so you know, keeping it wide cross uh, will be a lot easier than having the other guy sting and just make sure. He basically stings before he gets to the opposite side backer. Yeah, no, I love it, Coach. And like I said, I, I think it's a a, a a low investment, high return play. So that that's great. Yeah. I appreciate you coming on and teaching it. And I, I hate to tell you, I think a lot of guys are going to hit you up and want some of them clips because <laughs> that, that was impressive seeing your seeing your menu there, all, all the all the stuff you cut up. But man, no you did a great job. Go ahead. Hit me up. You have my email, Coach, if you need anything. You know, um, again, you're more than graceful to me, so by all means, i got to return the favor. Well, I'll, I'll, put, your, uh, I'll put your Twitter uh, tag in there, so they'll, they'll probably hit you up on Twitter. But uh, you did a great job, man. I appreciate you coming on and doing it. It's always, uh, you know, the, the uh, Air Raid certifi certified guys always uh, are top notch. They know their stuff because they've been with the Godfather there going through the course. And uh, you definitely showed that you are uh, an elite Air Raid guy. And I know uh, Lincoln's going to do great this year with you calling the shots. Thanks a lot, Coach. I really appreciate it. Hey, thanks for, thanks for uh, spending some time with me today. I appreciate you, buddy. Thanks a lot. Take it easy. Bye.